Hello and welcome back to how to make a dialogue editor using GraphView. So today we're going to look into um, how to actually save our progress. So when we have made this entire beautiful thing, we actually want the save button and load button to do something instead of just printing it out. So first up, we will want to actually fill out all the content we want to save. So we're gonna open up our dialog container OS and the OS stand for scriptable object. So now we will actually want to fill it out all the information we want to save. So first up, I'm going to look at my notes first. All right. So we want to make a version on how to save the different notes. So let's make one for hmm, um, the node links. So which uh, link the nodes are linked to. So we're going to make one called that, uh, node link data, and each of those have uh, will have a string that contains which node it is connected to. So it will of course have which node it starts at, and which node it targets. So target node. And oh, let me just spell this correctly. So we have the base and the target node. Alrighty. And uh, let me just roll over a little here. Alright. So next we want the base node. Oh, we forgot to make it serializable. So let's just do that. System dot serializable. There we go. Uh, that's because we are going to save it in runtime, so we need to make it serializable. Next up we need a basic node, base node data, and all our other nodes is going to inherit from this one, meaning all the data that uh, is going to be here is all the different nodes is going to have that one as well. And we know each of them needs a node GUI. A node gun, gun, gun. So we can tell them apart, and we also need to tell them where, uh, where they are. So we need to give them a possession. We go. So each of them would inherit from a base node, so they have an ID and a possession. Good. All right. Next up, let's make the. Uh, the dialog node. So we're going to make dialog node data. And that is, of course, going to inherit from the base node data. Go. Alright. So now we need to save the different things inside uh, here. So let we can we can go in here and have a look. So we need to save all um, all the outputs and we need to save the image we need to save uh, the enum for the left and right and we need to save the audio clip and the text of name and text box so let's go back in oh there we go <laughs> all right so let's start with um, <coughs> with the text box and the text box we have to remember contains a, a language generic because it contains all the different languages so we are of course going to make a, a list of language generics and we we know it's the string we are saving so we're going to make a string and call it text type a thing that is that's what we were calling it let's actually just look in the dialog node and see what we called it in here just so we are sure that we are calling it the same thing. So we have just called it text. Um, let's just keep with text uh, text type. Actually, this is the last one we are saving, so might, we might want to save that uh, later on, though. Hmm. Maybe we will. All right, so. Actually, let's go in and see here that the first thing 
we actually go into encounter is the different outputs we have. So let's make a list of that as well. Alrighty. So let's just uh, public list of dialog dialog no port. Here we go. And just call it dialog no ports. And that is of course this one down here. And each of them contains an input and an output. Here we are. And uh, um, a port and a text field and of course the language. Um, a different language of text in it. And we of course have a list of those so every, uh, every port we make here we will simply just add that to the list. Alright. So next up we have, let's have a look, we have the, the sprite image. So let's just save the sprite image. So sprite. And yet let's just call it sprite. Lovely and simple. Next up we have the Eno. And that is of course the dialog face Eno. So dialog uh dial oh if I could spell it correctly, dialog uh did we call it face Eno? Yeah, face enum type, and we're just gonna call it. Let's just call it this, and then just remove that here. Yes, dialog face in type, hello, face image type. All right. So next up is the audio clip. Uh, the audio clip, and uh, we also, of course, made that to be a list of language uh, and that is of course an audio clip so audio clip and we're simply just going to call it oh I can see we uh, I missed clicked it here let's just call it audio clips audio clips here we go all right and next up we only have a string called name. Here we have the name. So now we have um, made the entire field for all the data we need to save. Good. So now that's dialog node. That is of course the biggest one. And we of course need to make that serializable. So let's just make that serializable. Good. Next up we need to make the one for uh, the int node, so int node data, and that is of course also going to inherit from the base node data, and this one is just going to have a public int node type, and we're just going to call it int node type, and let's just make that small. Actually, because there are publics all the way through, that should probably be what, uh, yeah, would big. But they are not properties, they are values. Um, to be honest, I don't know if you're supposed to make those with big or small when they are public values. Uh, although they are fields, uh, they're not properties. Hmm. Because I have I made them more big here, so we need to find out what we do. We're just going to make it big. That is, I think, I do think this is uh, a wrong way of doing it, to be honest. But because we are just using this for safe, for safe data, and that's pretty much it. I don't think uh, it's going to change that much. Let's just. <laughs> I didn't even make that one back. All right. I think that should be all right. So now we have made the the int node, and that of course also needs to be serializable. So system dot serializable. All right, and then we need to make the start node. That is of course uh, public class start uh, node 
data, as that is going to inherit again. And the start node actually have nothing inside it. So we're just going to make that empty. The reason why we are making it uh, is simply because we need to save all the start nodes. So we need to have a reference so we know it is a start node when we are saving it. And next up we need, uh, uh, of course, the event node. Completely forgot that one. So event node data. And this is, of course, also going to inherit from the base node. And it, this is also going to be a serializable. And this one is going to have a dialog node event OS. And we should be just going to call it dialog event OS. All right, so now we should have all the data we need to actually start saving. So now we need to go up here because it's actually here we are going to save the data. Now we have simply just named how we, we want the data to be saved. So let's make a public, oh, let's make a public list, public list of node link data, and just call it node link data equals a new node link data. So when we make it, we are also ins instantiating a new list of it. And we're just going to make that one big again. And we also want the different nodes. So we're going to make a list uh, da, 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 da. that is dialog, dialog node data. And we'll let's just call it dialog node data equals new dialog node data. And we need a list of uh, the int node data and that we also just gonna call int node data equals new int node data and public list of start. Of course the start node you could you could argue that we only need one, but I'm just gonna go with the fact that we have more. Uh, simply because that means we can simply just reuse the current uh, the current setup. We should probably only have one start node uh, in our system, but for now we're just going to go with the fact that we have more. So later on we could do so when... I'm sorry about that, my headset just decided to power down <laughs> for a second. Alright, so uh, later on we could start it out. So the first start node added uh, to our system will be the first dialog you speak with, and then we can do so the second time you speak with him, he will actually start from the second start node. But um, again, you should probably only have one start node for a dialog, but for this tutorial, we're just going to go with the fact that you can have as many as you want. So we're going to go event node data, and also going to call this event node, and make a list of this. All right, and now we also need uh, a property to actually get all of those nodes here. So literally a, a way to get all, all of those. So I found a, a nice little way to do that. Is we simply just gonna call base node data and gonna call it all nodes. And in here we're gonna make a get where we then make a list of all the of all the nodes, so base nodes, and we're just gonna call it TMP for temporary equals new. And here we are going to simply add all the different nodes into it. So uh, and we're going to add range. That means it will take the entire range of. Uh, um, it means it will take the entire node and add it, let the entire list and add that to its own list. We're just going to copy paste this in here. And we will then return the TMP list. So when you call this one here, you will actually get all the nodes, but they will be returned as base node data. This way, 
uh, we can return, we can get our hands on all the nodes at the same time um, without actually needing to change what type they are because they are all also a base node data. But I hope that makes sense. So that would be the way that we were saving all our data. So actually let's just uh, go out here and have a look at our new dialog. As you can see here, we can just add one. And you can see we now have all the information we need about it. So we go to this dialog node, you can see all the different things we now are saving about this dialog. So now we have made the container for saving the dialog, and next time we'll start looking into actually how to actually save our current dialog we made in here to actually save it into the scriptable object.